Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 19 of this Click View Developer series. In this session, we're going to look at peak and previous functions. So these two has a good weightage in looking back to the values that are being read or that are being loaded into Click View data model. So let's see the definition of a peak. So it returns the content of the field name in the record specified by the row in the internal table or table name. So peak will accept three parameters precisely, three are not compulsory even. So you may proceed, one, I mean, you can uh, specify only one parameter as well, that is a field name. So one parameter is must for the peak. So that is a field name. And the second parameter is the index number, means the row number. So the row number here starts from zero. If you are specifying the negative values, that is, that means it is, going to read from the bottom of the table okay zero is the top of the table or else zero is the first row and minus one is the last row and the table name is the table uh, name from where your field belongs to okay the last two parameters that is row and table name are optional and the field name is compulsory one and the next one is previous so here it will be passing only one parameter so only one parameter is compulsory. So what previous is going to see is it will be just looking at the previous record. That's it. So previous won't have the flexibility of passing a row number and table name. So it will depends on the input value. So, so that is why previous is called as input and peak can look at a particular row number of a particular table name of a field name. So Peak depends on the output values, means once the table is being loaded or else completely loaded, then also you can go to the table and you can uh, fetch a particular row using the peak. So peak depends on output. So let's go switch into click view desktop. Right. So now I have loaded a table an inline table into click view desktop so i in this table is consisting of two fields one is product another one is number let's make it as product number right so now let's see how peak will work then we'll go to previous load star peak of so let's see the product as peak resident so from which table we are going to load see. So this is the resident load means it will be loading data from RAM itself it's and if we continue like this then it will create a recentric key because we made as load star means it will be loading two fields so only one field should be there in common to make the association between two tables so let's drop the table drop table the table name would be table don't get confused one is the keyword the first letter i mean first uh, word is the keyword and next one is the table name. Let's reload it. Right. So go to properties. Add all. So these are already created ones. Just remove them. So now we have product peak and product number. Let's move the product number to the top. So here we have P1, P2, P3 and P4 as product. And product numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, and peak is P1, P2, P3. So now see what peak is doing here. Peak is looking at the previous value and putting the value in the current row. Means so here, peak, I mean, at location 1, the peak will be looking at the first row. Means there is no first row is existed. That is that is itself a first row so it's putting null in there when it's coming to the second row 
here it will be looking at the previous value and it is putting as a p1 means the product one is p1 let's change this so make it product comma one means here the index should be starting at zero if i reload let's look what will happen means it has ignored first two records because i want to read from the first record and i will be fetching the second record means it will start from zero and it should be fetching the second record that record that is p2 and it will be putting that record everywhere means all the rows should be displaying only p2s that's what it is doing whereas it's when it is a simple peak it will be adding values from 0 to n number and my sorry 0 to n minus 1 if you have 10 rows it will be adding 9 uh, records to the 10 rows which it will be ignoring the first record right so let's see again now now see right so the index value is increasing based on the row number if you put some specific number in here it will be fetching the record it will be fetching the record and putting that record repeatedly everywhere right so let's do or let's take minus one and check what will happen see there so from the bottom it is reading a value p3 p2 and p1 right this is how the peak function will work within the table okay so let's try the previous now previous of product as previous let's reload so this is working just like peak with only one parameter so previous equals to peak like one peak like function with single parameters so that is what previous is so let's look at previous of previous what it will do is so i'll be making this as one sorry this is a, only one previous we are using we are not nesting the previous let's nest the previous so previous of and let's take this previous of as previous so this is previous of previous let's reload it then add both previous one and previous two let's see what will happen so previous it is looking at previous value means in the second row the first value is p1 i mean the previous value is p1 for the third row the previous value is p2 that's why it is reading and putting the value for for fourth row the previous value is p3 and it's putting here so in previous two what it is doing it's looking at previous of previous means it is going to look at or else look back two steps previous one i mean two steps back so in our case the two the first value is p1 so if i look two steps back nothing means null but in p2 also if i look two steps back that will be null so whereas in the third row if i look two steps back that will be p1 and in the fourth row as well the same way if i look at two steps back that will be p2 so this is how previous will work you can nest previous as you like okay so the previous will be accepting only one parameter so it depends on the input table whereas let's do the magic with peak so create a variable let v peak equals to so 
speak of so put the field name here my I want a field a product and then the index value I want to look at the last value for the last value the index is minus one and the table name so the table name here is table so here what we are doing is we are reading a value from the field product uh, from the index value minus one and the table is name is table and then we are dropping the table so now let's reload and then display the variable value go to text up create a text object equals to v peak now see the value is p4 so as we have discussed earlier minus one indicates the last row so here the last row and i mean in, in the product field is a p4 so let's look change the index value two so two means it should be bringing or else it will be reading the third value that is p3 so i we, we made index as 2 means the value starts from 0 0 1 2 so the value is p3 so but you can't use previous to fetch this because the previous will accept only one parameter that is expression that's it so here the peak is looking at already loaded table means so the output of this table is is required to uh, process the peak so this is why peak is called as output and previous is called as input right so this is how we can work with peak and previous so so before going to use this variable i strongly recommend you to go through the variable overview session that is part 11 of this video series thanks for watching the video please subscribe